sweet burning racehorses, YouTube. Ian here with another Pokemon black and white battle with Entei. We got a rematch here. He's from the Pokemon Center because that's where I find all my opponents. And uh, yeah, I'm using my UU team again. And he's using this uh, OU awesome sandstorm team. So let's see how I do. Let's see how I hold up. I'm going to lead with my ear first because, you know, Pep Pep is always right. And uh works for me. He goes with his Tyranitar. But he's going to withdraw and go into his Skarmory, anticipating the close combat, because frankly, that's all I go for. And, uh, works for him. Um, I get the buff, the, the Sandstorm buff, and, uh, now I'm going to recall and go into my Tangrowth. And he's going to start setting up spikes, and all this battle I was very confident that I would just let him set up all he wanted. Because I got my Dawn Fan with rapid spin, so I figured I'd be able to take care of it. In the end, though, I don't know. You'll see. Sleep is Celebi right here, and uh, his Celery is going for a Dirt Nap. And this allows me to kind of experiment. I go with the Hidden Power Fire here, thinking, Haha, sneaky tricks, look at me. Doesn't do much at all. Really only good for those uh, Steel-Grass combo types. I need, I need my times for weakness. Because that did not do a lot. But I switch him a Momo right here. He's still sleeping. Thank the Lord. And uh, I go start faking him out. And he wakes up. He flinches. So now I can get my U-turn off. And goodbye, Celery Stick. So, looking good right now. Momo's got his dick fingers. And look at that. You silly monkey. Get back in my belt. Now I'm sending Silly the Clown because not knowing what he's going to send out, Silly the Clown usually can take care of business of any kind. And uh, he goes into Skarmory. Skarmory's packing the taunt. I fall for the taunt all the time. Never see it coming on anyone. And uh, Dusclops always gets taunted because, let's be frank here, why wouldn't you taunt Silly the Clown? He's the silliest clown in the sea. You want to taunt him, you want to provoke him, you want to make him mad. But I don't like it when you do. And uh, he's just going to keep setting up spikes here, and I'm going to nightshade him a couple times. Then he whirlwinds me out to my big Goron, and I'm thinking, now, now would probably be a good time to get rid of all his spikes and whatnot. He switches out into his uh, H1N1. I go for the Ice Shard. Thinking now, you know, that won't even kill the Skarmory. I don't think his Skarmory's weak for his ice with that Steel type, but whatever. Go back into Silly the Clown. Because I know this guy doesn't have the taunt. Now he sets up the Stealth Rocks. He's got the full Entry Hazard package. I need to take it out. I need to Rapid Spin. Uh, it goes into his Rotom. I missed the Will-O-Wisp. So, boo. Not looking nice. And he T-Bolts Silly the Clown. Not going to do that much. I know this. So I Pain Split. Pain Split is always nice. Always makes me smile with happiness. But he's also carrying the Toxic. So, Silly the Clown's not looking... Not looking too good. I'm able to Nightshade, though. Doesn't quite kill him. But, um... After a Hydro Pump, he will fall. Oh, no. This was this was my bad play. I was gonna... I used Will-O-Wisp here, thinking if he switched out, I'd burn something. But if not, it would at least kill the Rotom. He's got the Lumberry. So, boo! His Rotom survives. I can get him with the Ice Shard here. But as you'll see, it's going to... Make it so I can't get my rapid spin off, and that sucks. Because every guy I'm sending in now is taking a buttload of fun. Crap load of damage. And uh, see right here? So stupid. Go for the rapid spin. He's faster. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe he was faster. Dumb you ente! Ah! See, my Momo gets raped by the spikes and the stealth rocks. I'm able to get a fake out off. And then I go for the low kick, but he ice shards me. Goodbye, monkey. But now, look at this. Leading in with my ear, like Pop Pop always says, I'm going to proceed to own his team with my ear. You always lead with the ear first. Get my close combat off. He's able to take him out. And now, boy howdy, my ear goes on an ear rampage. <clears throat> get my moxie boost here as he sends in his uh, almost dead Skarmory and boom another close combat's going to take him out no problem so it's looking good 
ear, you just killed two pokes. Unstoppable. Goes on the T-Tar. I know T-Tar is going to love this close combat. He's got the Tropple Berry. Doesn't matter. After two Moxies. Goodbye, G-Tar. It was a G-Tar solo. It just didn't help. Now I got the three Moxies up. I'm feeling pretty confident. Coming down low, but his Doryuzu, his Exadrill, is able to be faster with the sand, sand throw technique, sand paddle. I don't know. However, this is his last guy, so at this point, feeling very confident with myself. He X scissors. Not gonna do much. Tangrill's got the defenses of a champion. And yeah, I get the leech seed off, and that's able to put me over half, so I can just giga drain till the end. He X scissors again. See, not gonna do much. Not gonna do much, kid. Tangrowth, what you know, what you know about him. Pop his balloon, so now uh, Tangrowth can use all those earthquakes that he wants to use. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I'm just going to Giga Drain. He's going to use the earthquake in desperation. Not even going to do as much as X Scissor. I feel like he, if he just kept using X Scissor, he might have been able to get a crit, but sadly, not the case. So, great rematch, Ente! This UU team's really cool. He just ran there, but. Subscribe, like, comment if you liked, and, you know, eat some eggs. They're good for you.